Yo, what is up YouTube? I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be going over the top five purchases of 2020 so far. I'm going to start with... I'm going to start with these. Jordan 4 Black Cats. Um, I ended up getting these in... When did I get these? I ended up getting these late or early January. I forget the official release date, but I ended up getting these for retail $220, I think. I think it was either $190 or $220. I don't remember right now, but this is probably, I would say this is probably my most worn shoe of 2020 so far in my shoe collection. And uh, yeah, here's the sneaker. This could pass as dead stock, uh, lightly, lightly creased. Then we have the jump man on the back. This is how I lace my Jordan 4s. But um, on this specific pair, I didn't really like the tongue. I felt like it was way too thick. But it is what it is. Uh, triple black shoe, you can't go wrong with that. Here's the bottoms. And uh, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is, but it looks like I probably stepped in some dog shit. So I'm gonna be back. I'm gonna go wash my hands real quick. Give me one second. All right, I'm back after washing my hands. I don't, I don't know what that was at the bottom of those Jordan 4s, but I'm definitely gonna go clean those off after this video. Coming in at number two, I'm gonna go with a pair of ones that I recently copped back in February. Uh, Air Jordan 1 Pine Greens. So I ended, I ended up making a sneaker video on these and I went and got an early look at one of my local finish lines. And luckily the lady was kind enough to, you know, show the sneaker early. She really helped out with that, you know. Uh, if you're watching this, shout out, you know who you are. I might have to stop back in after this corona is over, you know, come get your number or something. No, I'm joking. But um, yeah, here we go, Pine Greens. These are dead stock, haven't worn these yet. This is the sneaker. There's a Wings logo. Went ahead and laced them up just in case I did end up wearing them one day. I'll have them ready to wear so I wouldn't have to lace them up and spend like 20 minutes lacing them up. Here's the bottom. I ended up getting these for retail, $185.86 after tax. This is actually my first pair of ones in my sneaker collection. Super lucky, super glad that I was able to get this pair. Let's let's get to the next sneaker. Here we have the Adidas 2.0 Ultra Boost Triple Whites. I ended up getting these yesterday, actually, if you watched my sneaker video from yesterday. Um, yeah, Triple White, Adidas, Ultra Boost. Uh, I did wear them for uh, on foot review, so it might be dirty at the bottom, but I went ahead and laced these up like this. This is one of my favorite running shoes, super comfortable. I do recommend Ultra Boost if you're looking for like running shoe or anything like that. I have three pairs in my collection. What is there not to like about this sneaker? It's triple white, gray shoe for the summertime. Coming in at number four, I have another pair of ones. These are my second pair of ones in my sneaker collection. These are the Jordan 1 Court Purple. These are also dead stock. I haven't worn these yet. I went ahead and laced them up also. I don't know what it is, but when I get my shoes, I go ahead and lace them up. I like the way they look when they're laced up, when I take them off the box. Here we go. Here's the sneaker. There's the toe box, white toe box. Um, let me know in the comment section if you like the OG colorways better than these ones. Honestly, I like the OGs better than these, but these are definitely uh, a must-have. I think the sneaker value will go up in these in a few months. So just looking at the previous ones that released, it took uh, like three, four months for the sneaker value to go up in the ones, and then they just skyrocketed to like $400, $350. I'm going to end up keeping these in my sneaker collection. I'm going to keep these dead stock just in case I do decide to resell these. It just came in the mail a couple days ago. I also did a video on these on foot review. You can go check that out. I'm going to be putting the link in the description if you want to check that out or not. Let's get to last sneaker for this video okay now this sneaker wasn't really purchased in 2020 it was purchased december 2019 but i decided why not add it it's close to 2020 here we go the jordan 11 breads these are these have been worn like three times i worn these to a rolling loud festival slightly crease no damage done i wasn't in the crowd so luckily these didn't get stepped on or ruined what is there not to like about a jordan 11 bread og like look at that look at that Everything just hits on these. That's gonna be it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like, leave a comment below, share this video with one of your friends. I have more content coming for you guys. I'm trying to stay consistent as this quarantine is in place right now. Hopefully you guys enjoy them. Peace. Hey, you made this?